What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, you can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 11.3 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. Powerful people, if you're excited for today's episode, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Comment and share this video with anybody you think might like it. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and see the old god stir. The store is closed. The friendly dog disappeared last night. You will have to find a new place to buy equipment. Okay. That's fine. Let's go to our home. Take the key. Let's take a bath. I guess we'll go with... Yeah, I guess reason. Why not? Um... Sucks that we have these now. That sucks. That was a waste of money to buy those, it seems. But, what can you do, powerful people? Let's go... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to do that. Chilling Chronicle of the Crimson Cape. Far out fable of a fear festival. Freaky feature of found footage. Hmm. Which one? How about... Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game, but that only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. All right. Only one thing you gotta do in this one, and that's get all the gossip about him. One of your friends says he doesn't believe in curses and he intends to complete the dangerous dare. Well, that kid is dumb. Uh, so let's go to the schoolyard. Latest gossip. How did you do on your English exam? I keep hearing a wailing sound coming from the third stall in the girl's bathroom. She didn't come to school last week. Have you heard about this computer program? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, do you want to come with me? Any of you? Hey, what's up? Nice. Very nice. Okay. I guess we'll wait. Third stall. Here we go. When Akamanto asks which paper do you want, you must refuse anything. Yes, we must. You've heard some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the man offers you, though. All right. Good to know. Okay. Jim doll. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Against your better judgment, fucking reason, you approach the doll. You, what you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Cool. You've reported it to the principal who promises he will take care of it. When your friend's safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library make mention of Akamanto. Maybe. Yatsuhaka Mora. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Continue looking. Plus 2% doom, shit. You can't seem to find the right tombstone and waste a lot of time before finally admitting defeat. Okay. All of the missing girls were apparently members of the school's swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Checking out the school's pool area would be a good idea. You know, you're probably right. Non-Euclidean 101. Damn, this reason shit. Impossible angles seemingly moving... And seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Stare in disbelief. 
How is this possible? I don't know, but I hate it. One of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a s toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information. Maybe. Very possible. Paranoid patient. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They are mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Talk to them. Oh, shit. Charisma check success. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and the crazy person is that you haven't been caught yet. You're, you convince them to sneak out and join in your quest. Plus one ally Maria. One cigarette for each defeated enemy? What? That's cool. A haunted artist. Interesting. Maria grabs your arm. You know that... You know they say this hospital is haunted. But that's just an urban legend, right? I hope so. Let me paint that. Okay. You can paint it, dude. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come, ho come to school today, and another body has supposedly been found. Sure. Old newspapers. Um, with the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Study issues of local newspapers. 5% doom, shit. It was a complete waste of time. You've spent the whole day reading about cute dogs, giant vegetables, and the occasional accident. You found nothing related to the case at hand. Shit. The principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. Well, good, I guess. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. Take her home. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Plus 10 experience minus 2 stamina. That's so creepy and awesome. I really want to know what's up with that girl. Uh, you break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there. Okay. Oh, I need the tiny key, son of a bitch. Uh, you find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Break the window to grab it. You break the glass window, cutting yourself a little bit in the process. The metal isn't made of gold, but you'll still be able to sell it easily. Plus one funds, minus one stamina. Fair enough. There's no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. Legend Alive. As you wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible, suddenly, squish, squeak. The sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping on the tiles. Squish, squeak. He can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. A masked man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Tell me, his voice sounds like a faulty radio, would you like red paper or blue paper? I don't want anything from you. Dot, dot, dot. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes their mask off as the walls wither and rot and reality starts to crumble. Akamanto's true form. He does one to all. Okay, that's actually not so bad. That's not great. I'm not happy about it at all. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Let's see.
Can I get a hit? Oh, damn, that would have been cool. Nobody dies. That's pretty cool. Um, whoops. So now I have 80% chance to hit him, and I'm much faster. Um... That looks good. I like that. Where are you? Um, 13. Let's go, baby. Yes. Excellent. When you wake up, you find yourself back in the toilet stall, thinking it was all a dream. It was all a dream. You stand up, only to hear a crack from under your shoe. There lies a broken crimson mask. Akamanto might return one day. But now you know that ancient horrors can be defeated. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape, ending A. 30 experience, 15 experience, minus 4% doom. One reason, one stamina, one day. And we level up. Look at that. You look like you could use a smoke. <laughs> That's awesome. Um... Do I want quick thinking? Folklore studies. I think I want folklore studies and some more reason. All right, powerful people. Wow, what an episode. But as all episodes do, this one has come to an end, which means that you watched the entire thing, which means you most likely liked it, because why else would you do that? So please go ahead and hit that like button if you want to show a little love. Um, subscribe to the channel hit the bell uh, so you get notified leave any comments you have for me and please share this video with anybody that you know that you think might like it that would really help us out here uh, I would very much appreciate it next time power people we will see what the old god wants but until then my name is Eli you can call me super kid thank you so much for watching stay safe peace and love